Well, today I would like to talk about my new album with the BBC Concert Orchestra called African Rhapsody. I am a kora player. I come from the griot tradition. And so I share stories through music and songs. A rhapsody felt like a perfect format to express who I am, where I come from, and what I want to share with people. But as I understand classical music and written music, as I continue to collaborate with Western musicians, I wanted to utilize the breath, beauty, immensity, intensity of an orchestra. After over 15 years of collaboration, including having my own music transcribed for Western instruments in my music books, I was ready to take it one step further. I just needed someone who understood African music and my music in particular. So, Davide Mantovani was the natural choice since he comes from the classical music scene and has traveled with me to understand Senegalese music over the past 20 years, backward and forward, he knows me and understands the Senegalese music, really. David and I worked for six solid months. He had the perfect background, plus he's Italian, and sometimes Italian music is dramatic, intense, and full of terms, just like me. I have to say, at the beginning, I was scared to death, but at some point I said, absolutely, yes, let's do it. Because I'm so used to hear the music from my own demos at home, the computer. When, <laughs> when I hear it played by the real players, it's like, sometimes it's, it's a very strong feeling. You know? He came with so many beautiful ideas and creative choices too. Then I have this amazing opportunity to record with the BBC Concert Orchestra. Amazing musician, individually and collectively. Over the two days recording, it was really emotional for me. There I am, performing with musicians who have never heard my music before. Some musicians have never heard the chora before, but they have this piece of paper and suddenly we talk, we share, we express something that I find so beautiful. I've never played any Senegalese music before, but um, I think, you know, the world meets with a groove. I love the concept. Um, the sound of the arrangements that Davide has written are beautiful and it, and it, and it gels gorgeous, uh, it sounds wonderful. Oh, it's a really refreshing change to play with such honest musicians from a different culture. To have a fresh voice such as we've had these past few days, it's energised us, it's, it, it opens our hearts. It's been a joy to work with. Initially I was a bit apprehensive, but Mark Heron, the conductor reassured me. He told me that these guys know what they are doing. And man, they did. Always, always challenging when you bring together, of course, the very kind of highly notated world of uh, classical orchestras and uh, the completely unnotated world of, of, a, of a, a phenomenal artist like Seku. So, um, you know, in, in a sense, very, very symphonic in, in a way. Um, very much a vehicle for, for Seku and, and Abel and the other, the other solos. It's really, really, really interesting to, to work on. Um, and I had a very privileged place because I was very close to Seku, uh, so I could connect with him. It was very joyful. This music is full of joy, and I think we all um, got it. On African Rhapsody, I wanted to work with special people, so it was natural for me to work with Abel. It's just perfect for me. He's classically trained and an amazing cellist and vocalist. <laughs> Yet he's so strongly connected with his African roots and allow us to have a, such a great detour to South Africa. I come from, from South Africa, he, he comes from West Africa, so that's, that's quite a, a way away. And also, I grew up as a classical musician, so that's 
that's quite a different world. So to try and connect our languages uh, takes a little bit of searching, and um, and it's risky, but it feels feels good. Feels good. Uh, we are kind of forming quite a new friendship. Uh, we're still searching for each other's souls, and and we're learning a lot from each other. So it was really a pleasure to to spend this day making music. <laughs> So, my own brother Suntu Suso, so talented, he keeps the rhythm and the groove in places where groove is really needed. I am very happy, thanks to Seiku, for bringing me uh, here to uh, perform. And it's a good experience for me you know, to be here today. And there is so many moments where I was near to tears, but <laughs> I had to concentrate. So, this new album, African Rhapsodies, will be released in 2023. I want them to enjoy the various journey offered in this album. I hope people will connect with their souls and these rhapsodies will tell a story which will make their souls and heart glow. I can't wait to take this work on the road and perform with many different orchestras possible because every time we do, we will tell a different story. And personally, I love this idea.